just a great response from our team um, to start the third quarter. Uh, I thought we took the energy and intensity up on the defensive end and on uh, the rebounding on the boards. And, you know, to do what we did in the third really set the tone. And um, we were able to get some easy baskets from our defense in the third and change the game. Uh, Coach, where did you see the most uh, improvements from last game to this game? Um, well, I, I didn't like the first half. I don't think there's anybody that thought that I probably did. Uh, I think we were standing watching. We had our heads hands down. Um, so I thought from the third and the fourth that, you know, our active – uh, hands, our energy defensively and rebounding, I really like that. You know, at, at this level, you got to limit easy baskets in transition, and you got to limit easy baskets on offensive putbacks, and we're able to do that in the third and the fourth against a really hard, really good rebounding team. And so I saw that was an improvement from, you know, the six quarters previously. Uh, Coach, you only had nine turnovers for the game, um, opposed to Southern Miss's 21 turnovers. Um, how did that kind of help your effort tonight? Uh, it makes a big difference, you know, when you have an opportunity, um, you know, to get a, get a shot. And I thought that Taylor and Hannah, um, our backcourt, you know, and their energy at the one, um, we thought we did a really good job of taking care of the basketball. And when you can take care of the ball and you can rebound and you can limit transition baskets, um, it really makes a difference. Questions for Jemiah. You had your uh, first double double of the season with 12 uh, points and 12 rebounds. How do you feel about that? What did you see on the court from the team? Um, I'm just glad because we got out rebounded last game. So I was glad that I was able to contribute and rebound the ball better than I did last game. But I'm proud of the double double. It took three years, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Jada. You're one of the, mo uh, the more experienced players on the court. Uh, how does that uh, just uh, add to your game and uh, what did you take away from that? Um, I think with my experience, um, I'm able to pick up on things faster. You know, if coach tells me to do something, you know, I'm able to comprehend it in my head faster than most. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is for Jada as well. Um, you got in some foul trouble last game um, and then tonight you, you didn't have a foul. Um, how did that kind of help you to be able to play like the whole game without worrying about fouls and be able to produce the whole game? Um, I realize um, my biggest fault there is trying to just go for block shots. And tonight I kind of tried to focus on keeping in front of the defender and trying to just disrupt their shot the best way I could without fouling. Uh, Coach, for your next game, you have Duke out in Texas, uh, neutral site game. How do you uh, prepare differently for a neutral site game as opposed to a home or away game? Well, I think it's going to be, um, you know, no different in preparation, home or away. Uh, the one thing that we've tried to do a really good job is that we've rotated between Foster, uh, the back, Jim and Coleman, and tried to be in as many different environments um, preseason here as we could for those reasons. Um, and I think that, you know, when you play a Duke team, um, you have to put four quarters together. We haven't done that yet, and everybody in that locker room knows that we can, we can do that. And um, to – be successful, um, you know, we're going to have to do that. I think it's it's going to be good because, honestly, um, you know, Nia and Jada both bring ACC experience. Um, I think they understand. Um, so I think we're just excited for a challenge. We're excited to, you know, go on the road and honor to be a part of the Maggie Dixon Classic um, and what Maggie meant to our women's game. Um, we're very proud to go and represent and have this opportunity. Hi, Coach. Um, three games into the season, what do you think the identity of this team is? Well, I think the identity of this team, um, we're still defining that right now. We're defining roles. Um, you know, as much as experience as we have at times, it's different when you have game experience, and that's what this team needs right now. And we continue to, you know, get, try and just be 1% better than we were yesterday um, and just keep improving each day. And um, I think our identity is still evolving, um, but we want to be a team that's gritty and that's the hardest working, and defense and rebound, because you can always control those two efforts. You, know, you can't always control if your shot's going in, but um, defensively and rebounding-wise, we've got to have great energy at all five spots, and that's something we've got to improve. We're standing, we're watching, um, but then when we don't stand and watch, good things happen. So our identity is evolving. Um, this is for whoever wants to answer, but y'all had four players in double digits tonight. Uh, the scoring, I mean, Brittany had 23, but... Other than that, like, the scoring was kind of spread out. Um, what does that kind of say about the team's chemistry, you know, three games into the season? 
Well, I think we, I'm going to let one of y'all answer this too, so y'all get ready. Um, but I think we see it every day in practice. You know, I thought it was great. Um, I thought that, you know, Kayla Blackshear came in, Taylor Sutton came in, um, you know, Ruth came in. So anytime that we can have, you know, six, eight, four, and it just really adds up. You know, we had more bench production tonight, and then we had four and double figures um, than we did against Tulane. And we're at our best when we have great balance. We can't be a one-man, two-man. We've got to share the ball, and we want to score it all five spots. And I thought our team did a good job tonight sharing the ball and we had balanced scoring and um, we took what was there and that's what we want to do is take the first open look okay somebody else got to an answer uh, yeah I just to piggyback off of that I think in practice every day we're trying to build chemistry making sure that we know what shots and know the personnel of our own teammates so that way we're able to share the ball and everyone is able to get their points you know um, also um, I would say that this team is very close off the court and when you close off the court, it's easy for it to translate on the court. Like, we do a lot of things together. We really close, like, and I think that's going to benefit us in the long run. And when we get in tough situations, just how close we are off the court and how much we trust each other off the court. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for being here. Roll Tide. Thank you.